One, two, very slowly, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale it down, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it, inhale it down, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it, exhale, the shoulders relax, look back to the windows. Hips moving forward, hips muscles contraction, nice and tightly. Inhale it down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Exhale it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Inhale it down. Remember, synchronizing should be in six seconds. Exhale it up. Not before, not after. Way, 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 way back. Cross your thumbs, cross your feet up, index thumbs, anything. Inhale it down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Exhale it up. Slowly push your head back. You're going to look for me each time. You guys, three on the others. Huh? Wait for me. Inhale it down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Exhale it up. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Hold it. Inhale it down. One, two. See the difference? Three, four. Very flexible. Five and six. Hold it. Exhale it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Inhale it down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Exhale up. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's enough. Feet together nicely. Let's turn it out small. Half moon pose. You ready? Concentrate. Listen to me. Word by word. Look in the mirror. Arms over the side. Put your hands palm together. Nice and tight grip. Release your index. Cross your thumbs also behind you. Up to your wrist, your hands palm should be touching into the light with the blue. No gap. Stretch up, right to the left, right to the left, right to the left, towards the ceiling. 10, 15 times, go and touch the ceiling. Make sure you should feel, you should pray. Everything stretching from the both sides of the body, all the way up to the fingertips. When you can stretch anymore, stop in the middle. Make sure your elbow up, your arms always touching with your knees. No gap. Now hips a little bit forward towards the middle. Upper body lean back, upper main chest. Start to finish, your body weight should be on the heels. Stretch up one more time. Four lungs in the breathing. Hold the breathing. Concentrate one point on your forehead. Don't blink your eyes. Absolutely straight line bend your body to your right side without bending your elbows or the knee. Keep your chin up, sweet up. Don't bring your head down. Chin up. Concentrate one point on your forehead and continuously keep pushing your head to the left side as hard as possible beyond your flexibility. In other words, you are trying to create Tremendous stretching feeling all over in the left side of your body, inside out, from both the skin, from finger to the toes. Can we come down a couple of inches more? Little bit left kick forward towards the mirror. Hold upper body, lean back, upper benches. Grip tight more sweeter. Your arms should touch with your knees. No gap. Your arms and head back at least four inches more towards the window. Come down more arms back. Arms touching with your ears. Come down and push very hard a couple of times. Come on, please, and stop in the middle. Again, nice and tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Stretch up harder. Lock the elbow. Chin up, please. Arms and head back up the pinches. Keep your chin up. Don't bring your chin down when you're looking in the air or bend the side. Now, hips follow. Body weight on the heels. In the breathing, the left side. Straight line. Absolutely straight line. Go down. Look in the mirror. Concentrate one point on your forehead. Arms touching with your ears. No elbow. You don't have the elbow, arms back, everybody arms back towards the window, open your chest, the rib cage, open your third fire. Everything is whole upper body opening like a flower petal blowing. Arms back more, shoulders supposed to hurt a little bit. Come down more and elbow straight. Push your hips more as hard as possible beyond your flexibility, my friend. Chin up, keep your head up, look in the mirror. What are you looking 
down on the feet. Come on, please, and stop in the middle. Back bend here. Don't give up. Listen to me carefully. You can trust me. Your back is going to hurt like hell. Full lungs, single breathing, hold the breathing. And completely drop your head back all the way. Look back to the window. Try to look at the light in the hollow hills. Now arms back immediately. Go and touch the window. Now bend your total spine. Backward bending. Push your upper body backward. Try to turn on backward. Bring your 110 percent body weight on the hills. Everybody drop your head back. Arms back. Look back. Fall back. Way back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. More coming into your stomach. Legs, hips, everything forward. The last chance of everybody. Stomach forward more. Arms back, sweetheart. You have to go and touch the window. Keep the breathing. Come on. Arms and hips together. Still you are scared. You are in fear. Go down from side. Arms and hips together. Bend your knees. Move your hips sideways. Right and left turn, right and left turn, right and left turn, 10-15 right right times to make sure your lower spine totally nice and relaxed, loose, comfortable, easy and flexible. This is a new turn from back bending to forward bending. First step, you have to do a little bit carefully because your spine is now still warmed up. Bend your knees, I repeat. Move your hips, go down and grab the heels. Put your hands all the way behind your legs, underneath your heels. Nice and tight grip. Two little baby fingers. The pinkies should be touching each other side by side underneath your heels. Then it goes all the way behind your legs on the calf muscles. Don't lose your hands or any bones. Pull your heels as hard as possible and stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Touch your stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees, face on the legs below the knees. What's happening? Whole body should touch the leg like a sandwich, no gap in your hand. Without losing your hands, elbows, or face, exit breathing, keep your eyes open and pull your heels. Slowly push your knees back as hard as possible. Another word, try to create tremendous stretching feeling all over underneath your legs, inside and out from both the skin, from coxes to the toes, with your smiling, happy face. Everybody will follow. Touch your face and lock the knee. Pull your heels and lock the knee. Exit breathing, lock the knee. Roll forward, lock the knee. Eyes open. Touch your face and lock the knees, lock the knees, lock the knees, knees and breathing. Come on, arms and hips together and arms down side. You are in the business now. Now give me 110 percent. You will be faster, much more harder, much more longer. Second step. You are in a nice twist, so strong and hard. Arms on the head, hold it nice and tight. The second set happen nice and tight. Breathe. Stretch up harder, elbow up, hands palm together, lean back up the pinches everywhere. Please lean back, everybody, when I'm talking. Lean back up a bit. Now, chin up, arms back. Concentrate one palm on your forehead, keep the breathing. Hold the breathing, bend, right side. Absolutely straight line. Don't bring your head down or arms forward. Arms and head back. Every human being has the same problem as a beginner in my class. Upper body leaning back, body weight on the hips. Hips forward, go towards the window. Continuously keep pushing your head to the left side. Beyond your flexibility, everybody left hip a little bit forward towards the mirror. Right shoulder forward towards the mirror. Arms and head back a couple of inches. Come down more and push your hips more. The left side body should be four feet from deltoid to the pelvis, the hip bone. Right side only one inches. So come down and push very hard a couple of times before you come. Okay. You still be extra strength in the second set because already you are not. Don't get scared, okay? Sit up harder. Lock the elbow, chin up, lean back a little bit, arms and head back, chin up, concentrate one point on your forehead, inhale breathing, your left side, arms and head back a couple of inches, elbow up, arms touching the middle, come down a couple of inches, upper body leaning back, body weight on the heels, you're going to push your hips more on that side, and when she's pushing, push, push, go ahead, push, trust me, push, 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 chin. You got it. You see that? They are kind of different. No. Are you going to do it or yes or no? I will answer. Yes or no? Ten seconds. Do you trust me? Do you have a choice? No. Back bending. It's an Indian marriage. No choice. Full lungs, single breathing. Hold the breathing. Quick drop your head back. Everybody look back to the window. Arms back immediately. Bend your total spine. Total spine. Box to the neck. Joints of each and every vertebra is uncovered. Is back of bending like a pork snickers. Stomach, legs, hips, everything is forward. Look back, way back, come back, fall back, move back, way back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Last chance, everybody, go and touch the window, inhale, and come on. And 
least you didn't give up this time. Go down front side. Then five seconds of the move. Bend your knees, move your hips sideways. Right turn, left turn, right turn, left turn, right turn, left turn, 15 times. To make sure your lower spine totally nice and relaxed. And quick, grab the hips. Elbow behind your legs. Two little baby fingers touching each other side by side underneath your heels. You're going to touch your head with the feet. So what you do? Bring 110 percent body weight on the toes to touch your head with the toes. Why? You are trying to create 360 degree angle stretching from coccyx to the toes. Coccyx to the foot is the last chance anywhere. There should not be any room for light or air between body and the legs. Absolutely glue it and push your knees back. Try to create tremendous stretching feeling. 360 degree angle. First leg stretching, hip stretching, lower spine stretching, total spine stretching, 360 degree angle, everything stretching. If you can do perfect for the first house now, you never have to do the chiropractor, they will come to you. You can really come up, arms and head together. And arms down the side. Upper posture. Look at Open your feet exactly 6 inches apart. Distance. In perfect 8, 6 inches between toes and the heels. And please don't change your feet when you're going down. Arms are parallel beneath the floor. Elbow up, triceps muscles tight, five fingers together. Stretch your both hands forward, try to touch the mirror. Exit breathing, suck your stomach in, depression of abdominal wall, 110% body weight on the heels. Sit down, and feet flat position exactly halfway on until your hips touching the chair. You have to put down, bring more up, there's a chair. The moment your hips touch the chair, you can't go down anymore. Now, one thing I can do, bend your toes, spine backward bending. Push your upper body backward, back to front, down backward, bring your 110 percent body weight on the heels. Everybody chest up, lean back, fall back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Change the feel around here. Second one, tremendous concentration. Stand on your toes, maximum on your back and Don't change your eyes. All the way, all the way, all the way. Think I'm pulling your head up towards the ceiling. So whole body is going up towards the ceiling. Spine straight position. You are leaning against the wall and sit down on the top of your toes. You are leaning against the wall. Come on the toes, you have on the toes, huh? On the top of your toes. Spine straight position. Go down until your hips touching the chair. So you have your upper body backward, your hips and the head touching the wall. Sit down a little more. Sit down a little more. Chest up, spine up, body up, chin. Keep your arm here. Turn one. Stretch your hands forward, elbows straight, triceps muscles tight, your hands will be closed on. Again, suck your stomach in, little bit on the toes. Touch your knees together, squeeze your knees, suck your stomach in. Stretch your spine up towards the ceiling like a natural human traction. Think of putting your hair towards the ceiling. Don't come forward. Leaning against the wall, sit down all the way. Leaning against the wall means your hips and the head touching the wall. You are going down absolutely spine, perfectly straight position. Sit down on the wheel, sweetheart. Sit down. This is a natural human traction without a machine. You got to sit down more, please, sweetheart. Sit down. If you have a bad knee, bad knee, please go ahead the best you can. You will be bounced and go down a little more. I'm going to fix your knee, don't worry. Come on, please, spine straight position and relax, please. Second set, fix six inches apart. Looks like an age. Arms are parallel with the pro lock and both fingers together. Try to cross the strike. Stretch your hands forward towards the mirror. Exit with knees stuck in stomach. In. Your lips should be visible in the mirror. Keep 110 percent body weight on the hips and sit down. Feet flat position halfway only. Stop. Immediately. Box to the leg. Joints of each and every body place and cartilage is backward bending like a pearl's neck leg. Suck your stomach in. Depression of abdominal wall. Contraction of the abdominal wall. Secondly, Open your knees up and inches more. All over six inches distance between your toes, hips, knees, hands. You can down a little bit too far. Come on, please. Keep your arms here. No move. Keep your arms here. Sit your head forward. Tight, sit first. Tight, tight, tight. Start from your toes. Maximum like a garden in All the way up. All the way up. All the way up. Continuously stretch your spine up towards the ceiling. Like a natural human traction. Whole body going up. Think I'm pulling your hair towards the ceiling. Sit down. On the top of your toes. Spine perfectly straight position. Spine perpendicular, 90 degree angle, sweetheart. You've got to keep your body back to begin with. 
continuous stretch your spine up, upper body leaning back. Your spine should be 90 degree angle. Come on, please. Keep your arms here. Third one, little bit on the toes and knees together. Suck your stomach in, stretch your spine up, elbows straight more, fingers together, knees together, sit down. As slow as possible. When your hips approaching the hill, slow down another 5 10 seconds. Stretch your spine up towards the ceiling. How do you know you are doing right? Legs exactly parallel with the floor. Arms parallel with the legs. Spine perfectly, perfectly straight, perpendicular, 90 degree angle. So from the side, your body looks like a perfect box. Now bounce the time and again on the second leg to make sure everything under your control. Balance again, even breathing. Spine straight, come up and relax. Next is go to the other posture. Arms over the head side. Look at your arms. Which one is right? Which one is left? Now don't mix up. Bring your right arm and the left arm. Cross your arms each other. Hold your hands exactly in front of your face as close as possible. Bring your fingers together like a nose Stretch your elbows down. Fingertip should not go higher than your nose. Sit down on the chair, everybody, like a last posture. Your hips should touch the chair. Stay down there. In one chance, right leg over the left leg. Put your right foot behind your left leg under the calf muscles. Sit down more. If you sit more and right leg lift up more, you create more room in between the legs. You can twist your legs each other like a rope. This is not possible with the pen. In the yoga class, it's a shot. Legs and arms should be open. You got it? Check it in. Left arm and the right arm. Arms facing you. Left arm and the right arm. And hold your hands. Now close. Stretch your elbows down. Make sure your shoulder hurt. Sit down on the chair. No. Sit. 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 Left leg all the way up. Shoot. Lift up. No lift up. No lift up. Put your left foot behind your right leg. If foot is not going in, sit a little more. You can sit more and lift up. Then you create more room in between the legs. You got it? Look, check again. Second set. Right arm under the left arm. Thumbs facing you. As close as possible. Sit down on the chair. <clears throat> Elbows down. Make sure your shoulder hurt. Right leg all the way up. Lift up. Zoom. Swing your legs. Twist your legs. Put your right foot all the way. Behind your left leg. Under the calf muscles. No pain. I don't like pain in my class. Nothing loose. Arms and legs should be open. Slip away. Look at us. Check again. Left arm and right arm. The last one. Bring your hands close each other. If you can, sit down halfway. On the chair. And slow it down. Now left leg over the right leg. Sit down please. Put your left foot behind your right leg. Under the canvas. You see that? Stay here. Don't go. Sit, sit, sit. Sit a little more. Twist a little bit left. Left leg. Move a little bit. Stay. Knees should go left a little more. Chest up more, lean back more, spine straight more, sit a little more. Make sure biggest twelve joint in human body hurt like hell. Anchor knee, hips, delta, delta, elbow, wrist, scapula. Fourteen joint you use at the same time in ten seconds. You think coming a small package. Two set finish or one set? You sure? Party time. Drink your water. Lift your hands. Party over. Standing heavily. With me, everybody. From now, you need more concentration. All three body posture. Think deeply what I'm saying. The real yoga is married between body and the mind. Use your body as a medium to bring your mind back to the brain for 10 20 seconds. For you. It's the hardest thing in the world. Standing heavily. Wipe your hands. If you need to take your washer, all 10 fingers in total position. Grab the right foot in front of you. Everybody do that. Three inches below the toes. Hold nice and tight grip. Stop, please. Please don't lose the grips. Make sure start to finish your left knee lock to begin with no knee. You don't have the knee. Your left knee should be solid, concrete, one piece, that was unbroken. In the breathing, very slowly, gently, right leg, lift up and straight forward. Towards the middle until your right leg exactly parallel with the floor, not higher, not lower. If your right knee lock, immediately keep your right leg heel forward towards the middle so you can turn your right foot on the ankle toward your face. Flex your right foot down, how to stretch your Achilles tendon 
exactly about the head. If you are right knee lock, then you feel tremendous stretching, tremendous pain all over underneath your leg. Leg should be exactly proper with the toe, not stop keep kicking. Still, if you can balance that without blinking eyes, slowly start bending your elbows down towards the floor until your elbows touching the calf muscles. Eventually, your elbows should go down below the calf muscles. Now, slowly bring your chest down, shoulders down, arms down, head down. At the end, try to touch your forehead on the knee. Change. Stand up straight. Wipe your hands. Listen to me. Do exactly what I'm saying at the same moment. Don't think it's hurting or difficult or you are new. That's my problem. That's not your problem. Stop. Let's go. Make your mind. You are not going to bend the knee anymore. Hold it to the left foot. Three inches to the toes. Nice and tight. Get both of them. Concentrate one part in the right knee. Come here. Push the right knee back towards the window. Make sure right knee lock to the knee. Keep both of the knee. The whole right foot should be solid. Concrete. Not just that. Push one foot. Don't make your eyes in and breathing slowly. Gently let's say lift up and stretch forward towards the rear. Your left leg should be exactly parallel with the floor, not higher, not lower. Kick your left leg hip forward towards the rear so you can turn your left foot from the ankle toward your face with all the five positions turning in. Try to stretch your face generally above the leg. Then only you can keep your left knee lock. So tremendous stretching, feeling pain underneath your legs. Continuously kick your heel out towards the mirror. If you can keep your both knee lock on the side of your both knees. Like a perfect upside down leg like a linga. Still, if you can balance, start bending your elbows down. Elbows should touch the calf muscles. Elbows should go below the calf muscles. Still, if you can balance that, bring your body down, chest down, shoulders down, elbows down, head down. Try to touch your forehead on the knee. Five seconds on. Change. Do the back bending one second, everyone. Second set. Already you warm up. You can do much better. In the second set, if you are with me, are you ready? Go. Wipe your hands. Grab the right foot to your own position. Make your mind very clear. Solid concrete one thing that was done broken. In the breathing, gently right leg will come straight forward until right leg exactly parallel with the floor. Immediately kick your right leg heel forward towards the mirror. Not stop kick kicking without stopping or intermission. Flex your right foot straight to the stem line. Right knee lock, both knee lock. From the side of both, it looks like a perfect upside down leg like a leg. Charge your body forward towards the mirror 
and kick your leg back. Don't blink your eyes. Don't change your eyes. See me back? You meditate. Concentrate on your standing knee. All three postures. Chin close with the shoulder. Stretch your left shoulder forward. With your scapula, shoulder blade should come out of the body with your deltoid, from the deltoid joint. So two shoulders should be exactly in one line in the mirror. Change again. Left leg. Keep your left hand in front of you. Tell in your mind, Mama Vini Mani. Now turn to the side and grab the left foot on the ankle. Full grip with your hands palm. Hold the ankle. Five fingers together. Now think very deeply. Look in the mirror. Lock the right knee to begin with. Charge your body forward and kick up downward. The whole body is parallel with the throat. And kick your leg back. A hard, strong kick. If you feel dizzy, nauseous, you must be happy. More number of brain cells is active condition. You are re-energizing, revitalizing, reorganizing. You activate the brain cells, which is in the cold storage for a long time. It's a good news. Charge your body forward and kick your leg back. Kick your leg back towards the window as hard as possible. So you must see your leg is going up towards the ceiling. Change again, everybody. Again, right here. Keep your right hand to your right side. Now try to keep your left knee locked to begin with. Please lock the knee. Left arm in front of you. Chin touching the shoulder. Charge your body forward. Go and touch the mirror. And bring your body down. Sweet heart. Your knee is still shaking. If you bend your knee one hair, quarter of an inch to lose the balance. Bring your body down. All the way. Until your abdomen, chest parallel with the floor and kick your leg back behind you as hard as the first and I come down now. Straight forward now. Look in the mirror. Right now, your right shoulder should be exactly hidden behind the left one. Invisible. Two shoulders in one line. Kick back. Exit breathing and kick. And kick. And kick. Excellent. My friend, your knee is still bending. You don't have a knee. Change again, everyone. Left leg, go ahead. Everybody got the left foot, same position. Right knee, lock. Hold the ankle, Sutra. Ankle. We know what is ankle? The ankle joint, hold the ankle. Why are you holding the toes? The right knee, lock. Charge your body forward. Look in the mirror. Lock the knee. If knee bending, posture can start here. You're wasting your time. Anybody can lock the knee. If you're watching it, you're listening. And keep your leg back. A hard, strong kick. Go forward more. Go forward more. What are you looking for? Someone can help you. Go forward and kick. Forward and kick. Go straight forward. And kick. Kick more. Go forward. Sit still your two shoulders not in one line. You are crooked. You gotta keep your feet. So that's enough, everyone. The next posture is the best exercise to bring in medicine for your heart. You are going to give heart attack to your heart. Coronary thrombosis in 10 seconds only to make your heart bulletproof, fireproof, heart attack proof. So the moment you hear I clap, you got to make your mind use 110% strength. Immediately the whole posture is going to be only 10 seconds. You got it? If you have a second leg, it's over. Balancing stick posture, Pulo Dandasana, feet together, arms over the head side, holding nice and tight grip, release your fingers, start to finish, your arms always touching with your ears. Now don't look down, chin up, look straight ahead towards the mirror, inhale breathing. Are you ready? Are you with me? Right leg step forward, left step, lock the knee, quick charge your body forward, immediately left leg up, look forward, charge your body, bring your body down and left leg up, arms, body, head, leg,
touch your chin with the left shoulder. So your exactly profile of your face should be visible in the front mirror. Everybody left arm stretch up towards the ceiling. Lift your upper body up and left arm stretch up towards the ceiling and drop your hips down more. Another one. Your both arms should be stretching each other up and down in opposite direction like a natural human traction. Keep your breathing. Come on, please. And stop in the middle. Turn your left to the left side. Again, bend your left knee. Sit down. When you are sitting down, lean back. Upper body leaning back. Push your hips forward. Both arms back. This is the only subject in the world managed between heart and the lungs. In the breathing, bring your left hand down and touch the toes. Put your fingertips between the big toe and the second toe. The right arm stretch up, upper body lift up. Left elbow should not go down below the knee. Don't lean anywhere against your left elbow on the knee. Upper body lift up and right arm stretch up towards the ceiling. Come on and right leg back to the place. Now I go full dial up. You have to be a little bit faster with me. Are you ready? Lots of people, your hips didn't go down enough. Second set. Feet together. Put in the mirror. Arms on the head side. In one chair. Right leg straight and arms down side. Minimum four feet distance between the feet. Turn your right foot to the right side. Arms down, my friend. Bend your right knee, sit down all the way. And bounce from the time. To make sure you came down enough. Sit down more. Everybody hips forward, lean back, body back, arms back. Open your chest, inner belly, bring your right hand down, touch the toe. Don't touch the toe, no pressure on the fingertips. Look. Your belly needs to be upside down here, like a little bit up in the ceiling. Touch your chin to the shoulder. Both arms stretching each other up and down in opposite direction, like a natural human traction. Everybody left a little bit forward, go from here. Hold up and hold down and push back like a spine twisting posture. Push your right knee back to the head of the right elbow. Make your left knee lock and left foot flat. Inhale, breathe in. Come up, please, and stop in the middle. Turn your left to the left side. Again, bring your left knee, sit down all the way, bounce up the back. Look in the mirror. Your left leg should be parallel with the throat, exactly upside down, head on the leg. Everybody, right hip forward, towards the middle, hold upper body. Lean back, upper reaches, both arms back, as far as you go, open your chest. Please, the yeah, don't move your hips anymore. Bring your left hand down. Touch the toes, don't touch the floor, don't press the fingers towards the floor. Look up towards the ceiling, touch your chin to the shoulder. Profile of your face is visible in the front mirror. Your both arms should be stretching into the up and down in opposite direction, like an actual human touch. Everybody right hip forward towards the mirror, the upper body turn and push backward, like a spine twisting posture. Push your left knee back in the head of your left elbow. Left elbow should not go down below the knee. Don't lean any anywhere other than the left elbow on the knee, right knee lock. Right foot flat, in the breathing, come up, please stop in the middle, arms down and right leg back to the desk. Good. Go ahead again. You have a nice rest. So you should be better this way. Standing in the head to your feet together. Arms to leg, cross your thumbs, switch your arms, your upper elbows. Right leg step to the right. Big step. Zoom, turn to the right. All the way. Everybody turn your hips five times more. And go down with it. Look at your stomach. Exhale breathing. Tuck your chin to your chest, touch your exactly forehead on the knee. You have to touch your forehead on the knee. Bend your knee as a beginner, even if you have to for half inch, forehead on the knee. Everybody stick your hands forward beyond the toes so your elbows straight. Eyes open, breathing always normal. Inhale, breathing. Up, arms and hips together. Stop in the middle. Turn to the left. 185 degree angle. Don't you bring your legs close. Open your legs. Exhale, breathing. And you go down. Look at your stomach. Tuck your chin to your chest. Touch your exactly forehead on the knee. Jaru Shirasu. 10 seconds. You are using eight more important things in human body. First time in your life. Pancreas, kidney. Oblomata, medulla, thyroid gland, pituitary gland, throat chakra, crown chakra. Sita, forehead should touch the knee. Come up, please. Arms and head together. When you upside down, difficult to understand what is what. Forehead on the knee. Second set. 
standing head to knee posture standing separate leg head to knee four head on the knee you should make sure you are not jumping you should stand you can't get free then you will go on to the leg right leg to the right big step in one chair turn to the right everybody turn your head five times more now go down one two three four five if anybody feeling dizzy nauseous throw up this is a good news you might be happy that's why you pay for i will see on the chest and factory or i will see self power here ma i'm so happy to get us stuck in the middle turn to the left good morning everybody welcome to big control church chamber to kill yourself for next nine minutes and go down the river chin to the chest forehead on the knees actually this is not a thing get your head up towards the stomach up forehead on the knee lift your head up towards the ceiling elbow straight push your hands come on right leg back to the back everybody go to the line this is finished don't look so sad it's not over long way from home to kill yourself that's why you pay for that's why i am here collapse to the posture right leg up heel touching the bottom all the way up the heel touching the bottom bring your left leg down now grab the right foot everybody hips forward put your right knee down and backward try to get your both knees exactly in one line just like a triangle posture continuous stretch of the spine up towards the ceiling like a natural a human traction changing let's go all the way the hip touching the costume stretch of spine up push your knee down Try to get your both knees exactly in one line. Two knees in one line. Hips forward, knees back, body back. Change. Next knees. Padam Gosasana. Toes down. If you have a back knees, repeat the three posture. Otherwise, do the toes down. Right leg lift up. Keep your right leg in front of the leg. Up on body, knee from the floor. Lower spine towards the foot. Touch your both hands on the floor. Come on the toes and sit on your head. Sit on your head. Keep your both hands two sides. First leg turn, then right turn, lift up one by one. Continuously stretch your spine up towards the ceiling like a natural, a human traction. Turn again. Left leg up. Any part of the leg you feel comfortable with, you can keep your foot. Doesn't matter. Higher, knee, lower, upper body, lower body. Touch your hands on the floor, sit on your hip. First left hand, then right hand, lift your chest up one by one. Go ahead. Knees, yes. touch the floor, sit on your hip. Keep your hand both on two sides. Now left hand on the chest, stretch your spine up. Look close with your knee in the middle of the floor, then you balance better. Come on. This first part is finished. Now please switch the second seat, please. Seat number two. That was my working out exercise. Now my class start. Take a mat, take a towel, relax on your back, please, everyone. This is Savasana dead body pose. Feet together, arms close into your body, hands palm facing up. Completely relax to bring your circulation to the normal position before you start the next posture. Start please, Pavanasana. Right leg up. Hold your right leg. 
fingers inside each other exactly two inches below the knee. Nice and tightly. Hold your knee down all the way towards the right shoulder. Completely avoid the rib cage. Make sure your left leg straight so your calf muscles touching the floor. Chin down towards the chest. Keep your eyes open. Breathe normal. All you do, make sure your hip joint hurt. You give it enough pressure in the lower abdomen. Change. Arms are legs down. Immediately lift it up. Hold your same position two inches below the knee. Hold your knee down all the way towards the left shoulder. Right leg straight. Cat muscles touching the throat. Chin down towards the chest. Keep your eyes open. Breathing normal. And freeze here. Elbow closing to your body. Change. Arms are legs down. Immediately both legs up. And grab the elbows each other over the legs. Both hands on the both elbows. Nice and tight grip. Chin down towards the chest. The neck flat on the floor. Eventually, when you improve your skeletal system, your total spine should be flat on the floor. Completely flat. And relax, please, everybody. This is Sahasana Dead Body Pose. Completely relaxed. Feet together, arms on the towel, hands palm facing up, totally relaxed. Second set, right leg up, hold your same position, two inches below the knee, nice and tight grip. Now put one harder towards the right shoulder. Now left leg straight, flex your left foot, calf muscles should touch the throat. Flex your left foot, chin down, elbow close into the body, hold a little bit extra hard. In the second set, chin down towards the chest. Keep your eyes open, breathing normal, chin again. Arms are legs down, immediately left leg up, hold your same position, two inches below the knee, nice and tightly. Hold your knee down towards the left shoulder, avoid the leg cage, right leg straight, flex your right foot if you have to. Elbow close into your body, shoulder relax on the floor, chin down, eyes open, breathing all is normal. Absolutely please, don't even blink your eyes. This is the most important part. In the yoga class, when you hold the posture, please. Change again, arms and legs down, both legs up. Grab the elbows, each other over the legs. Both hands on the both elbows. Nice and tight, big compact, get your arms. Couple of inches below the knees. Nice and tight, please. Chin down, neck flat, eyes open, breathing normal. Hips down more. Eventually, total spine should be flat on the floor. Get your shoulders down more. Neck down more. Relax, please. Completely relax. Feet together. Arms on the towel. Hands palm facing up. Totally relax. Arms on the head. In the breathing. Pick it up. Touch your forehead and your turn on. And lie down on your stomach. Bhujangasana, Cobra posture. Most difficult posture to learn as a beginner, Cobra. Put your hands exactly underneath your shoulder. Very, very close into your chest. Five fingers touching each other. Hands palm flat on the floor. Pull it down. Distribute the pressure. All over hands palm equal the same. Think deeply. You have only one leg. Like a snake. Fit together. Hips together. Legs muscles nice and tight. Hips muscles, solid, complete, one piece. Everybody touch your elbows with the body. Keep your shoulders down across the floor. Look up across the ceiling. Inhale, you breathe. Your fingers together. Gently, upper body, lift up from the floor. Go on. Everybody come on. Drop your shoulders down. Elbows touching the body. Drop your shoulders down. Elbows touching the body. Chest up more. Only your belly button touch the floor. Rest of your body in the air. Stretch your elbows down towards the hips to bring your shoulders down so your trapezius muscles should be visible in the air. Relax. Arms down and head sideways. Pretty good. Totally relax. Feet together. Arms on the towel. Hands palm facing up. Start again. 
second set. Bujong last long, cobra posture. Get your hands on the shoulder, close into your chest. Five fingers together, hands on flat, glue it down. Feet and hips together, legs muscles nice and tight. Hips muscles solid, complete one piece. Shoulders down, elbows touch the body. Look up towards the ceiling, everyone. In the breathing, properly. Only belly button touching the floor, rest of the body in the air. From the side, your elbow should be rectangle like an A. Drop your shoulders down and chest up. Stretch your elbows down towards the hips to bring your shoulders down. Relax. Arms down and head sideways. Get your legs down, arms down, relax nicely properly. Set it for the right time. Feet together, arms on the towel, hands palm facing up. Totally relax. Cut again. Locus posture. Arms stay position, get your arms underneath your body. Hands palm facing the floor. Elbows underneath your stomach. Elbows should be invisible. Chin on the floor, left leg relax, right leg solid, complete one piece, forward toes, inner breathing, and right leg lift up from the floor. Minimum 45 breathing angle with the floor. Elbow underneath your body. Lift up more, much more higher. 45 is half of 90. Your hands, palms should be on the floor. Change. Now left leg up. Go up. Left leg up. Minimum 45 degree angle with the floor. Come on. Make sure your elbow inside. Elbow and back hurt. Change. Mount on the floor. Bring your hands inside. Open your fingers. Grab the floor with your fingertips. Take a deep breath and both legs. Go up. Come on, everybody. Go up. Come on. Go up. Go up. Come on. More up. Go up. Come on. Everybody go up. Come on, 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 go up, come on, come on, come on, go up, come on. Relax. Arms out and head sideways. Complete, relax. Always remember one thing, you have nothing to lose because you never had anything to begin with at the first place. Life and death is the same thing. Just struggle and try to kill yourself. The more you suffer, you must be happy. You are getting more benefit from my class. Second set. Start again. Locus posture. Arms straight position. Get your arms underneath your body. Hands palm facing the floor. Ten seconds only. Now don't tell me you cannot do it. Ready everybody? In the breathing. Right away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change left leg up. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change. Mount on the floor. Take a deep breath. Hold this. One, two, three, four, three, four, five. Take a deep breath. Six, seven, lock and eight. Eight, nine, nine and a half, nine and three quarter, and ten. Relax. Arms out and head sideways. Complete. Relax. I got you. You didn't follow me and give up at the night. Elbow hurt, arms hurt, back hurt, hair hurt, hands hurt, good for you. Your investment, time, money, energy is worth life. One day, all the pain in the world is not going to take happiness, peace, and happiness. If anybody can make you angry, you are the loser. If anybody can steal your happiness, peace out of you, you are a loser. Okay, start again. Full locus. Put your arms up like an airplane wings. Hands palm flat on the floor. Chin on the floor. Feet together this way. Put on some bars for full locus. Take a deep breath and go up. Arms, body, head, legs. Everything lift up. 747 go up. Come on, look up. Chest up. Body up. Head up. Head up, head up, look up, arms up, hands up, arms up, your arms back. Like a jet plane wing, my friend. Arms back. See, you look like an old Viking. I want a popcorn. Feet together, please. 
sit up knees together. Sit down. Fifth round seconds. Knees together, feet apart, hips touching the floor, hips touching the hips. Get your hands on your feet and gently lie on your back with the help of your elbow, one by one. Grab the elbows each other over the head. Hold your elbows down, chin down, cross the chest. Keep your eyes open and breathing normal. Hold your elbows down. Eventually, your knees should be together. Try to create feeling chari hots on the top of your thighs, knees, everywhere. Come up with the head to your elbow. Turn around and relax on your back. Relax on your back, everybody. Go ahead, relax on your Relax on your back. You're doing fine, everybody. Everybody feels the same way as a baby on your back. That's normal. This is the first exercise you do in your life when you do your yoga class. Definition of exercise is stretching. When you don't stretch your body, you are not you don't do exercise. You know what to do. What do you do? When you run, when you swim, when you jump. Mm. Arm to the head, fix it up, please, and we double jump, it's a baby. Arm to the marshmallow, hat for the spoke. Everybody together. Sit down, jump, please, tell me now, please, each other, please, and think together. Arms over the head side. Get your hands on together. Only cross your thumbs, not the fingers. Stretch up towards the ceiling. Exit building, and you go down. Touch your forehead on the floor. Little fingers on the floor. Elbow lock. Stretch your arms forward as far as it goes. Eyes open and breathing normal. Sit down on your feet. Chin away from your chest. Eyes open and breathing normal. Continuously stretch forward. In the breathing, come on, arms and head together. Come down, side turn around. And relax on your back. Complete relax, everybody. Complete relax, complete relax, complete relax. Every time you lie on your back, you are bringing your back to normal position. This is called natural indication. The circuitry system with the help of the spiritual system. Arms to the head, in the breathing. Sit up, please. 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 Sit up, Relax on your back. Every posture has a huge medical explanation, like the last posture, cap products. This posture gives you maximum relaxation. 30 second cap posture better than 8 hours sleep at night. Yoga class in the gas station. You get energy in the class, which is about burning energy. That's why yogi live longer, they don't eat, they don't sleep, and they never get sick. My guru said, yoga maintains it long, keep the body full of vitality, immune diseases, if you can old, 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 age, you will never become old. Because you gain energy. Yoga class is a gas station. And arms to the head, fix it up, please. Fist cross on your camera posture. I have never listened to me carefully. Stand up on your knees, six inches apart between knees and the toes. Get your hands on your hips, finger towards the floor. Take a deep breath, drop your head back, go back halfway, stop in the middle. First right hand down, then left hand down. Grab the heel one by one, thumb outside. Take a deep breath, stomach, legs, hips, everything push forward. Don't lose the weight. Continuously push your hips forward as far as it goes. Push more harder. Push more harder than you go. Continuously push forward. Push more hard. Push as hard as possible until your back or leg like help. Come 
Mop turn around and relax on the back. See? Perfect. Complete relax on the knees to the body. Look at how big you are. If you do mind your every day, you do the same way at the age of 95, 105. You don't need festive things and silicone on your face here and there. That's exactly the job I do. Arms of the head, inhale, breathe in. Fix it up, knees to the down, jump, exhale, breathe in, turn around. Go ahead again. Come across to the second side. Start from your knees. Eight inches apart the knees. Six inches apart the toes. Knees, second set, two inches more wider than the toes. Put your hands on your hips. Take a deep breath, hold your breath in, push your hips forward, drop your head back. Look back all the way. Go down, 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 halfway only. Now right hand down, grab the hip, thumb on side. Left hand down, grab the hip, thumb on side. Take a deep breath, start, legs, hips. Everything push forward. Continuously push forward. Push forward more. And more. And more. And more. And more. And more. Continuously push forward. Continuously. Inhale, breathe in. Come up, turn down. And relax on your back. Relax on your back and your body. Complete relax. Work. Tell me what the biggest problem in human life, personal problem, because of lack of self-realization, you always underestimate yourself. You always think you are too old, too sick, too fat, too skinny, too busy, too poor. That's the lack of self-realization. You always look for excuse. Um, so the hip, in the breathing, sit up, please, everybody, double jump. Satsangasana, rapid posture. Sit down, middle of the towel, knees and feet away. You take your head pin up, ponytail up, everything up from the head, take it up. Put the towel on the feet behind you and grab the hands, hips, hold the towel. Please don't lose the grip. Hold your hips as hard as possible. Look at your stomach, go down from the side. Tuck your chin to your chest. Touch your exactly forehead on the knee. Automatically, tap up your head on the floor and lift your hips up all the way, roll forward like a wheel. Until your elbows completely straight. The whole spine is stretching top to bottom. Neck mind hurt a little bit. Chok chok. Eyes open and breathing on. Now you touch your forehead on the knee. Knee. Forehead touching the knee. The knee, yes. And feet flat. Flat feet together and lift your hips up. All the way, roll like a wheel, roll like a wheel, forehead should touch the knee. Come up, turn around, and relax on your back. Complete relax. Yes, after camera arrives, sometimes we will kind of behave to make a special in the brain cells. That's good news. Your brain cells is not dead yet, all of them. Some of them still active, they are complaining. Good for you. Whenever you suffer, you must be happy because you better shake. Arms on the head, in your breathing, fix it up, please, everybody, double jump. Sit down, jump on your star, knees and feet together. Second set, Sasakasana, rapid posture. Put the towel on the feet. Make sure you grab the hips nicely, no lose the grip. Pull your hips as hard as possible. Go down from the side, look at your stomach, tuck your chin to your chest. Touch your exactly forehead on the knees, top of your hip on the floor, pull your hips, exhale, breathing, eyes open, lift your hips up all the way, go like a wheel, until your arms and bones completely stick, the total spine is stretching down the bottom, neck might hurt a little bit, choke, choke, eyes open, breathing on that. Again, walk your knees one by one, again, towards the head, until your knees touch the forehead, lift your shoulders up towards the ceiling, suck your stomach in, box, is the leg, joints of each and every vertebrae and cartilage. Equal stretching, same easy to stretch neck and upper spine. The big one is still center of the lower spine. You have to start somehow, somewhere to stretch. Equally same, total spine like a quarter necklace. Come on, turn down and relax on your back. Totally relax. 
Fit together arms to achieve your body. Hands palm facing up. Completely relax. To bring your circulation to the normal position before you start the next posture. Bring your head close. 
change. Both face forward, lie on your back, sit up please. Now this is stretching posture, posture like this. Grab the toes from the top, pull your toes hard, walk your hips back, right to the left, right to the left, 10, 15 times in the arm, walk your hips back, hips in the air, head goes down, stretch your head forward towards the toes. Grab the toes, pull your toes harder, Put your head forward, please. Uh huh. Let me see. Go. One, two, three. Go. Go. Come up, turn around, and relax on the back. Much of the picture of the zoo. Much of the picture of the zoo.
Oh, 